Hello, I'm back. It's 6.34 a.m. So, you know, I still got some more venting to do because I don't want to, um, and I'm sleep deprived and got no sleep. If it takes for me to vent out my frustrations, and I mean, even though this is a public open forum that nobody may want to listen to me, but you know, the fact that I got it out there, you know, it'll help me calm down some, like to express what I'm going through rather than hold it in, you know, hold in all my emotions and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, it's like, and I'm sorry if I, you, you know, y'all might be like, oh, she said the same thing over and over again, you know, but it's like, I, you know, pretty much just trying to emphasize, you know, and trying to get people to understand, you know, what I'm going through. You know, I know that, you know, even last night I read the Bible, you, you know, I read a couple of chapters and been trying to strive every day to, you know, trying to strive every day to um, be like a Berean, you know, and read the Bible every day. And I've been having, like, feeling too beat down <clears throat> to pray like I should, you know, but I still pray, you know, so, um, <clears throat> so many unbelievers, <clears throat> they have a misconception, misconception about, um, you know, they have a misconception about, they think, <clears throat> they think that God answers, you know, every single prayer that we ask, or they feel like if every prayer is not answered, then, oh, he must not be a powerful enough God, you know, but it's not like that, you know, I know I understand that if we're disobedient, then God won't answer our prayers, and if we're living according to the world, then Jesus, you know, is not our friend. If we're a friend of the world, you know, we can't be a friend of God. So, they make, like, the perps are just making it like I'm just a, um, a religious hypocritical lunatic who's just talking a whole bunch of gibberish and nonsense, <clears throat> you know. But anybody who's in whatever cult, if you sit down and read the King James Version of the Bible was backed by the Holy Spirit. Um, don't read the NIV. Don't read the contemporary, don't read the New International Version. Don't read the new, the fake Jehovah's Witness New World Translation. Don't read the Book of Mormon. Don't read the contemporary English Version. Don't re read the Revised Standard Version or Holman Standard Bible or, or, or whatever, or the Schofield Bible, or those, all those others. You know, I've done a lot of research, and the King James Version of the Bible is based on a Textus Receptus. That's the received text. Um, so now I have a better understanding. Um, because. I'm sorry, I'm kind of nervous right now, you, you know, and I'm sleep deprived, so forgive me. And I'm a little quite agitated. Um, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm all over the place. You know, so if you're sleep deprived, you ain't going to be perfect. You, you're not going to be, like, mentally intact. So... Um, I can't get to sleep because <clears throat> I don't have a place to live. I mean, a permanent place to live and stuff like that. So I post 
a link, a PDF file in my description box of the King James Bible along with certain other things. Y'all know what I posted in every video. So, I mean, on the description box of every video, if you want to get the truth, then you'll realize something like the fake IDMR cult. Um, if you read the King James Bible straight through, then you'll realize, and of course you ain't going to get it done in one day. You're not going to get it done in a week. You, you know, um, if you read it straight through the Bible, you'll realize that, you know, there's a lot of errors in whatever cult you're in. Even certain Christian um like some people say that the independent fundamental Baptist is a you know an unbiblical cult as well. Pentecostalism, anything that's contrary, you know, all these denominations. <clears throat> but the fake IDMR cult, they try to act like as if they stand out by saying that they're non denominational. But they they're not non denom they're not non denominational Christians. But then they have certain professed non-denominational um, religious sects or whatever, S-E-C-T-S, -E <clears throat> that's um, pretty much like a cult as well. You know, so they have Baptist, Catholic, Calvinism, Lutheran, um, Episcopalian, a uh, few others, you know, different denominations. And also in Islam, I heard that they have their different sects and denominations as well. And there are even Muslim cults I've heard too. <clears throat> but um, it's, if a person is considered Jewish or, or a Jew, nowadays, they have to be a Christ accepting Jew. And Islam is satanic. It's out of the question. You know. So we have to just serve God only. You know, even though you might, you know, ask a little friend for help nowadays or something. Like, even if it's to ask, them, ask your friend for, say, if you need to move a bed from out of your pickup truck to put in the house, you know, you can ask a friend to help you and stuff like that. That's not a whole putting your faith in man, but putting your faith in man is like replacing God, you know, with a human being <clears throat> and depending on them for everything, you, you know, and... and and put in all your trust in, in, in you know, because it's like the fake IDMR cult, there were so many scriptures that they never taught us. <clears throat> that they just left us blind. I heard that in communist China, they were keeping everybody from the book of Revelation, <clears throat> which is much needed. <clears throat> so, from my research, I've read that the apocryphal books, the apocryphal, like the, um, what are some of those apocryphal books? Like the Book of Enoch and some of those other books, I heard that they're unbiblical. So, um, <clears throat> they're, I heard that they're unbiblical. Um, so... It's, it's like me feeling crushed right now and feeling like I have nobody for like emotional support and just all alone by myself. It's, it's like me trying to climb. I mean, I've dealt with spiritual abuse throughout the years from many different people, even churches, and backslid and felt discouraged and um, been lukewarm, a lukewarm Christian and stuff like that, you know, but the fake IDMR cult, they never taught us scriptures like Jeremiah 17 and 9 and Jeremiah 17 and 5. <clears throat> um, 
I don't recall the IDMR cult teaching that we should forgive and that Yahshua or Fraudster Kenley, Fraudster Queenly, <laughs> Queen, yeah, Fraudster Queenly, fake Fraudster Henry Clifford Kenley. <clears throat> um, nobody ever said, I mean, but it's blasphemous for a man. That man was a Freemason. It's blasphemous for a man to feel like he can forgive sins. <clears throat> you know, Jesus was God manifested. Jesus still is, you know, God. God the Son. God the Father, and then God the Son, and then God the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit dwells in Christians. So, <clears throat> um, you know, Jesus is the Lord. And God is the Lord also. So it's like the Holy Trinity. But the fake idea of our cult, they confuse those teachings. You know, they, they, they confuse everything. And they twist John 5 and 43 um, and make a bizarre thing that when um, the real meaning of John 5 and 43 in the Bible, when Jesus said, I am come in my Father's name and you receive me not, meaning that I come in my father's name meaning that I'm you know I'm sent under my father's authority <clears throat> but the idea of our cult would twist it and be like oh well say you got I um <clears throat> you know Jesus has the authority to do whatever God the father you know could if God commands him to <clears throat> you know forgive that if, if if he has the authority <clears throat> to forgive sins, I forgot which scripture that is exactly where in the Bible where it says that Jesus thought it not to be, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. <clears throat> so Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. And that's why um, he's, <clears throat> that's why Jesus is the only one who has the big authority, the final authority to forgive sins. So <clears throat> it's very difficult for me to work on forgiving my gang stalkers who are still persecuting and hurting me and stuff. You know, um, I need to get bitterness out of my system. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I need to get bitterness out of my system and you know, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm trying to prevent myself from losing my mind and going crazy. Despite what I'm going through, because <clears throat> even recently, you know, I can't even go on any online forums, you know, trying to fellowship with other Christians because they all, a lot of the so-called Christians or the new age false Christians who or under strong delusion, they will persecute Jesus himself, you know, for speaking the truth. They're like modern day Pharisees <clears throat> and they're self-righteous. And, you know, it, it's like these churches nowadays, they will kick Jesus out of the church. And um, so I, 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 know, I know that I'm not spiritually perfect, but you know, and psychologically and mentally and spiritually, everything, I know I'm broken and trying to heal. I'm trying to say we all need Jesus. We all need a Savior. You know, we all need a Savior. <clears throat> and, and I know we all need to try to work out our differences and to try to work out our differences with each other and try to forgive, love and forgive so that we can be forgiven. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was before I became a Christian. And I was in a mental hospital. And I was being perked and abused in that so-called faith-based mental health. But, you know, 
Christianity is not supposed to even touch psychiatry and mental health, but they have people who try to mix psychiatry and Christianity or so-called Christian psychologists and stuff like that. And, and it's like they try to mix, you know, satanic mental health system with biblical Christianity. And, and I think, you know, Jesus is the wonderful counselor. You know, he's the wonderful counselor. So, you know, that I guess, you know, that's the best counselor and the best doctor in the world. You know, look at me saying, feeding on that manna, feeding on the word of God, you know, eating, drinking, exercise with the word of God <clears throat> and stuff like that. You know, eat, drink, breathe, exercise, you, you know, trying to live <clears throat> and, you know, you know they're trying to get us to kill ourselves as targeted individuals. So the Bible says, um, choose life. Uh, so, you know, I'm trying to fight to live. And the perps treat me like I don't deserve anything, you know. I just, you know, going through all this hard stuff and just, I mean... I, I know that I'm just trying to survive and a, a, as a target... They make everything, they sabotage everything good and just, because they say we basically kicked out of society. They say Jesus was a targeted individual. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, I've committed certain sins and, <clears throat> you know, especially when retaliating and getting mad, with, getting mad at the gang stalkers and cursed them out or I, I shouldn't do that, you know, but it's like, I'm been like over so overwhelmed with emotions <clears throat> and the fact that I'm angry and frustrated that I'm not getting any justice or closure on the abuse that I'm going through with the gang stalkers period <clears throat> that they can get away with so much and a lot of times I forget that there is a hell that they're going to go to if they don't change or you know if they don't get I, I mean it, you have to have trust in man or faith in man or fear of man in order to be suckered into becoming a gang stalker. <clears throat> you know, if they bribe and threaten you and stuff like that, and all these gang stalkers, the same people who are targeting and trafficking and profiting off of me, and then reverse it on me and lie and say that I'm a liar, I'm a scammer, and, and stuff. And it's like, well, they persecuted Jesus and would have called him the same thing. I know I'm not Jesus. I never said I was Jesus. You know, so... I am um, not attacking the IDMR cult, but I'm expo I've been, you know, exposing, you know, their bizarre beliefs. So would they twist John five and forty three and trying to make it like, oh, you usually have the same last name as your father, so that's what pretty much what what um, John five and forty three means, which is. Which is not even, and, and it twists certain other scriptures as well to fit their false narrative of mixing Freemasonry and um, Freemasonry, New Age, Luciferianism. Um, they mix the Bible, um, what else? Metaphysics, occult. They admit, like the fake IDMR occult. They admit that they encourage and promote occult science o-c-c-u-l-t occult science they admit that they promote occult science you know <clears throat> so christians we're not supposed to have anything to do with occultism or esotericism <clears throat> and it's like when i first was awakened to the truth about the illuminati and the new world order i got briefly in a little bit suckered into the new age and got I mean the fake ID Marco oh yeah that's another thing they're also a new age as well but one thing the ID Marco doesn't promote vegetarianism and veganism like the um, fake seventh day of Venice cult that's run by a woman named Ellen G. White so um so I, I just um 
you know, I, I'm trying to get closer to God, and it's like other so-called Christians will try to spiritually kick you down and stuff. And if you read Matthew chapter 23, it, it you know, about woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure we all have been guilty of being hypocritical some way, you know. But it seems like with these gang stalking attacks all the time, it's like I know they are taking off my focus from God. And um, I've been highly tempted to give in and go back to listening to secular worldly music. <clears throat> um, but I said that I don't want to betray all fan God like that, you know. Um, <clears throat> so I want to be able to keep my promise <clears throat> to, um, you know, not do that again. And I feel bad to, you know, because I've had certain sins that I, oh, I promise not to do. And then I went back into, you know, feeling bad and then going back and committing those sins again. <clears throat> and, and, and so it's like, I mean, Jesus himself has the authority to judge us in the last days, you know. <clears throat> and and we all will bow to Jesus, not Ellen G. White, not Reverend Sun Young Moon, the Mooney's cult, not... Um, What's that, um, the Davidian church or whatever, not Rael, not, um, <clears throat> fraudster Henry Clifford Kenley, not, um, the Joseph Smith, not Charles Taze Russell, <clears throat> Mormon and Jehovah's Witness, they are Masonic, like, all cults are Masonic, and all of them come, like, if you read, um, John Coleman, the Committee of, wait a minute, the, the Conspirators high, Hierarchy of the Committee of 300, they mentioned that um, all cults are started by British intelligence, MI5. <clears throat> so um, I'm thankful every day, even though I may not say it or think about it, but I am thankful every day to not be a slave to psychiatry and mental health and the fake IDMR cult. <clears throat> even though they're trying to force sucker me back into psychiatry <clears throat> and stuff like that. And my own twin sister is, um, she ex act like is she expects strangers to be responsible for controlling my mental health. And psychiatric pills ain't going to get you to heaven. <clears throat> and I was, and I was never happy or never healed with psychiatry. Like psychiatry and a lot of these other so-called, you know, <clears throat> fields that they just leave you a, a, a paying customer for life and you die early and die in your sins and go to hell <clears throat> so you know I know I need to humble myself <clears throat> and try to spiritually better myself and everything but as I said with these attacks with the gang stalking I know that, that they're trying to distract me and they're trying to get you killed <clears throat> and they, they say that Jesus was a paranoid schizophrenic and some people say Jesus was homeless as well, you know. So, um, <clears throat> it's, it's like we can't do anything without him. We have to depend on him for our salvation and stuff like that. But I know that this world is coming to an end, you know. I don't, nobody, the world doesn't, we don't know when. So I, I know that I have to be spiritually ready. We all have to be spiritually ready. <clears throat> um, we have to be spiritually ready to, um, get, you know, have oil in our lamps and, and be ready to meet the groom if we're the, considered the spiritual bride, the bride of Christ and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I don't, it's like, I, I, I know I need to pray and fast and stuff. I've been like spiritually abused even recently, you know. <clears throat> but I, I I know that you know it's okay to have some Christian friends, but it's amazing how many dirty people are in in whatever church, and and that's why most people do not go to church. Church is the body of Christ, not a physical building where people meet. 
you know, not a fancy building made with men's hands. So, um, but it's like we need a little money to survive, but it's like that doesn't mean you money hungry or greedy, but being greedy is trying to get more than what you need, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> In my situation, I do need a car. I do need a roof over my head. It's not covetous to try to get a simple little roof over your head, even if it's a kind of stoga hut. Um, you know, trying to get a safe roof over your head. And, um, you know, a, just a vehicle to get around. But back then, of course, all of us used, like, none of us are perfect, and all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So I don't understand why some people think that they're better or think that they can condemn and judge others. <clears throat> You know, I only condemn you when you do dirty to me. But then again, if you do some stuff like harming kids and stuff like that, you know, I got a problem with that. Or if you rob somebody or, you know, scam somebody or, or um, shoot and kill somebody, you know, of course that'll make people mad too. You know, or make me mad too. Or, or if you see some kind of injustice, you know, you'll be infuriated. So I'm done for now. I just... I know I need to spiritually just clear my mind and everything, and I wish I had could get some place to an opportunity to get to rest, and then I have to go back to work tomorrow. But I have a few little errands I need to run today that I have to run today on my off day. I mean, I got me some rest yesterday, but not totally or fully. So I'll see y'all later on, and I'm calmed down a little bit from earlier. So I'll see y'all later on, and I bye bye.